Hey everybody, welcome back to Shogunners. We're in a hospital, naturally. And right now, there are a couple of healing points, which does make sense because it's a video game. I'm just kidding. It's because we're in a hospital. Uh, we got Zoe here, who's pretty cool and might actually be able to make use of this cool cone attack if I want to put her at risk, which I think I can do. She's got 48 health here. Let's, let's give her 75% chance to hit all three of these. I like those numbers. Okay. I mean, mathematically, that's fine. <laughs> that's okay, I guess. We're dealing 18 to 20 now, so we can actually chain two kills here. And then really hurt this guy. We do have a flank here that's going to be a bit rough. So much for that scum. Let's come in here. Start whacking. The challengers rack Consider up yourself two whacked. And then we are flanked, so we're dealing 16 to 18. This is still better. I could go untouchable. I could also. Um, I think we just do this. Oh, Kick them right in the junkers. Triple oh, elimination. Oh wow. Slaughter in three acts. Oh wow. Oh, there's an opening here. Did not know. Did not know. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something gnarly. We're gonna go unhittable here, Scarlet's and I'm just gonna full dangle. I don't want this guy coming around and hitting Zoe. I want him shooting here and doing absolutely Not even nothing. In the ballpark. Okay. So that's we had a pretty good start there, but now we have problems, of course. As you would expect. 75 on that guy. We can actually reach with Tibble. Let's go. Yeah, hop all the things. He takes up pounding. Kick him in the Nardlies. That yeah. scum is not yeah. getting yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Overwatch here, I mean, it's possible. Will she be rewarded for her patience? That's not great. Waiting for the enemy. Matt, I will approach. say, oh, plot twist. Nice. Haven't had one for a while. Destroy the healing. Destroy the now, healing station. Now. Who says it's fair that only contestants can heal themselves? Huh. I guess that's that's fair. Looks like those healing stations are for defender use only. Oh, the challengers might not want the to get boxes, rid of them. It, these things. Very cool. So does this just heal people that are around them? Come on, Overwatch something. Nice. Nice. Oh, so good. We're actually just crushing right now. He isn't able to reach cover safely. But there's a lot of reinforcements now coming in. Which is fun. Yeah, heals defenders in range for the duration. Effect ends if regenerators destroyed. That's cool. Oh, he's getting tenderized. We're gonna come back here. We can't move her up into a reasonable Overwatch range, and Overwatch from here feels bad. So we're going to put damage on this. And then uh, Zoe. I think we're going to overwatch here. Let's see what happens. Someone makes a mistake. Okay, now we got all of a sudden five enemies. Destroy the final healing station or kill all enemies within the time limit. What? So there's... Okay. Wow. Four turns to kill everything. 
But I still have to kill these two regardless. We didn't get an Overwatch there, and that makes me feel really bad about things, to be honest. Okay. I think I... I'll tuck in here. I don't love it. Let's see if we can't get rid of some of these. Whoa! Watch out! Okay. Then we're gonna need to pull some shenanigans. Let's do a little body swap here. This is a play-by-play -play announcer. I'm gonna nightmare. hope that we can use Tybalt's skills to have the enemy basically fight themselves. Ooh, that one staggered him. While we destroy the healing stations. It's a lot of optional objectives here. Yep, this is working. Okay, nice. Close the shot. That's going to slow them down. I think her uh, her AOE shot is off cooldown here. And in theory, that should put some damage on that as well. Uh, that's weird. So there's, oh, I think when I'm highlighting this, okay, so it is out of range, but I bet you I can hit everything. Hmm. So even if I move sideways, I'm not gonna have the range to hit that. So that's unfortunate. I think we'll still wind up here. Zoe is thinking ahead. Oh, so you have to go wind up. Oh, interesting. So you'd have to spend a turn. I thought that this was just gonna replace wind up. Okay, so you have to spend a full turn to get this big damage boost, but it's fine. Come on, 75s, please land both. Ooh. Sick. One less scum to deal with. Does that immobilize? Huh. Why did he get immobilized? Huh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Kind of interested in a poison grenade. But, um, it's a lot of enemies. I might be better off if there's more enemies coming in, too. Like, wow. And this guy's gonna heal if I don't kill him, which is a problem for reasons that you can see. I'm gonna have to reload and use assault. Loaded and ready for action. Like weirdly not letting me move to all these spots. I can move here and it's a coin flip. It's a sketchy coin flip though. Let's throw out the decoy. Two tibbles is I'm just one trying to keep them in that many. area. <laughs> and try saying that five times fast. Maybe it only allows me to select a spot where we'd have a visual. 
Man, do I go for this? If not, he's gonna heal, like... A bunch. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have reloaded. I should've just moved in and used, uh... Frag or something. This is very risky. Now I probably get shot there. Playing defensively for now. Oh, oh really? Oh my god, the damage is insane. Okay, that didn't work at all how I wanted it to. Yeah, let's do this. Now we're seeing some fireworks. Okay. And the scum is dispatched. Now we do have some problems here. This does not provide cover, interestingly enough. This little window here, that is so sneaky. I kind of love it. We're going to tuck Scarlet over here. We still have the hollow. And so now, I think it would be smart for me to break vision. Until next turn. Uh, does Grenade not end your turn? Why do I think it ends your turn? It's like it shows you here if it ends turn, but... This doesn't. And I'm actually gonna hit these three. A destructive volley. Now, the problem is they may still go to this. I don't know if I'm going to get these, man. Let's see if they're smart enough to use it. Missed by inches. That guy Getting is. Getting ready for incoming opponents. One turn left. Okay. So it's 20. This is 18 to 22. If I wind up, we have it. But what can Scarlet do here? She has an untouchable, which is kind of nice. So I could run her in here, draw a bunch of fire. And I could heal her, which is kind of useless. Because she's basically full. But it's a turn where we don't have to worry about stuff. I think we'll swap the ogre. They're all pretty close to him. We're not going to get this one. And we're not going to clear all the enemies this turn. There's just no way. So we'll do the wind up. Now we have 27 to 33. Something explosive got triggered. So that's fine. The thing is, if I go in here, I actually don't want them... I don't want to draw fire, necessarily. And I don't need this. It just gets me closer to this, but... With one turn left, that doesn't matter anyways. So I'm just going to come here, out of vision, but closer nonetheless. And then, uh, Tybalt, let's just move here. 
and he's good to go. I can good. see his wounds closing. So he's in regener regenerating now. On Come on, we need 10, scum. Hell yeah. Right in the tailbone. The TB for short. You save exactly zero syllables by saying it for short. Um. Okay. So, we're getting there. We got two chain kills here. Goodbye and good then we can riddance. disable the fumer. That's two in a row for the contestants. So we sabotage, get rid of the smoke. He can't attack. Nard kick. And, oh, we can't reach there, eh? Can't see him with the snapshot. Oh, ho, ho. Triple kill. Hot shots. Don't know what that means, but we'll take it, baby. That was nice. I mean, getting all those objectives, I'm not sure how I could have done that well, much differently. Maybe some for this grenades, this but group we would have to know that extra one was coming. Without a single casualty. So we got an Onikiri off that. A level here, a level here. One challenger eliminated five. Nice. Okay. We're, like, we're... Abusing melee a lot, which that I think visit is to the hospital kind of didn't way to do, do much it. for their health. But our challengers rarely say no. All right, let's see. So this War Machine Junior right now is 18 to 22, unlimited ammo, eight range. This is way less damage, but um, it's got the bionic weave penetration, which I think is the ogre, if I'm not mistaken. But I think I would much rather keep this damage. We'll see. I mean, we'll we'll make a call. Okay, so now one short of tackle prevents you from triggering Overwatch, which is fine. Like it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's just that it's it's really only beneficial when she's in a situation where the enemy is Overwatching, and you're able to get a kill because you're only going to force that if you can get a kill if not you're just probably going to play a little bit more defensively whereas this is so good i want to i think i want to wait for this without spending ap like that's insane i think i'm just going to wait for that depending on how many we get i'll probably be able to get movement range as well um, but i don't remember how many points we had before so we have five here active ability intimidate so enemies run away but robots are immune or we go movement range. We just don't know if this is a disable at all. Or if it... Yes, we force the enemy to run away. But then they could just move back. I, I'm sure this is good in a certain circumstance. But I think I'm just going to take the movement range here. And then the stomp. But I think we're saving for rocket barrage. And then here we're saving for his stuff. Okay. To a chance to own their combat skills. So, uh, we have. Couldn't oh escape the searchlight. Uh, again. Healing up. We have two more loot boxes to find. How hard could that be? Okay. So this is a Gatling gun. Gotta watch for this. Okay, I, I, we're actually circling back. So we've gotten all of these. Let's check that final area real quick, and then we'll maybe do a run through and try to find the other stuff. Oh yeah, there's one here. Okay. Another reward for the challenge. Medkit frag two. All right. So she has the med kit plus. Let's give her normal frag. 
give you frag two. That poison actually did work out pretty nice. We'll give you a poison. Okay, so now I'm short one loot box. I'm gonna find it. Found it. They managed to find every Oh, a Q1 box. and a Q2. I also took uh, a little bit of damage on, you guessed it, a sentry. Q1, Q2, 14 to 20, 4 ammo, 8 range. Interesting. Or we stick with the bullets. I like the extra range there. That's kind of cool. 14 to 20, though, is like... Doesn't always take out a scum. You gotta get really unlucky to take out, like, a low-level scum. Hmm. That effective range is nice, but... Maybe we stick with the poison for now. Try it out. That seems to be the case where we, whenever we find a new gun, it's like... Uh... Maybe. <laughs> it's always like a... Yeah, maybe. Applying some first aid. Okay, fame-wise... We have this now. So, we can start buying guns for cheaper. These used to be like 8,000. Crush them and bruise them. 20 to 25. So, her weapon right now, 18 to 22. This one has that bionic weave. Let's look. Can we get a look at the enemies here? Having found a new ally yeah. in Zoe, Scarlet and Tibble Ogres. are approaching the final arena of the night. Will the threesome help each other survive, or will they go down in flames together? Hmm. So there's an option for just more damage. <laughs> Mech Operator's Choice Award winner for five consecutive years. 25, two shots. Effective range, six. David and Goliath, 15 to 22. And 17 to 21. I'm going to hold. I'm going to... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy a couple of the mega frags. Now there's Ronin here. We should probably go to the anti Ronin for that. The ogres we can basically handle with his skills, I think. Instead of poison, we'll go frag two here. So, anti Ronin, bionic weave, and then his stuff is just for poison. And I think that's fine. Okay, and a new enemy too. That'll be great. The shop seems to be the same as the other stuff that we can access. So, let's go. Now, we'll probably give Warden some love. Uh, after playing around with Zoe for a bit, we'll have to see. But right now, she's serving a pretty solid purpose. This abandoned factory is home to some vintage protect, industrial protect equipment. Protect all generators from the defenders. Show director Ryan Ford is offering a bonus to the challengers if they can keep two of those classic generators in salvageable condition. Okay. I'd be interested in a mode or like a, a change where you get to place your guys at the start. We're going to try swapping here for sure. I don't know if they're going to prioritize trying Wait, to take out these generators. The real Tybalt? Thirty-five there. This isn't too bad. 75. Oh, baby. I wonder if she can reach that. Yes, she can. And the scum hits the deck. So, to handle this side, I think we go unhittable here. Completely unhittable. Then we can Shoot this scum she next time and shoot him with assault, maybe. The Ronin is and maybe it kills. Hey, that guy totally ignored his scum Setting up buddy. A perimeter. That sucks big time. Did 
She has 100% to hit there, but... She doesn't have eyes here. Scratch one, scum! I'm looking for percentages. These are all actually not that good. So all we're going to do here is run her back. We could frag here, but... Now the decoy is supposed to draw enemy fire. Let's throw this down. Will that hologram fool the defenders? And then he can still stay in this. I'm curious if her cone attack. No. Okay, so we're gonna overwatch. Standing watch for now. And you are going to chill here. Oh, that's gonna Damn. hurt the value on that collector's item. Good. Unable. A few more shots, and those generators will be gone, along with the reward for the challengers. Okay, there's some reinforcements. We're going to position her down there to try and deal with that. Um, her cone should hit these. Looks like Hollow Tibble also might get hit. Very, 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 very nice. This guy probably goes for Hollow Tibble there, I have to imagine. This doesn't guarantee to kill, unfortunately. Which means I need to sabotage. So that means he won't kill this guy off. The Ronin probably goes here. Oh. I didn't even look at my shot percentages because I might have not needed to do that. It's my bad. Guarding her position. Nice. I don't think we've ever actually been attacked with a charged up melee attack from these Ronins. Oh, please overwatch the Ronin. Damn. Eighteen to twenty-two. There. Let's do a wind-up. So he prepares a deadly shot. Seventy-five. Oh! Must have rushed that shot. Okay, so I am noticing though that we immobilize when we use that overcharge. It doesn't seem to say that in there though. Um, how much does he hit for? 14 to 15? I'm just wondering if I can get a swap off down here. I can. That is dirty. We will take it. Look at the thing has to go all the way through. Okay. Without unhittable, this is a little risky. So frag grenade ends the turn, but poison grenades do not. So I wasn't totally crazy. Let's see if this lands. It didn't. We're just gonna go here where we're out of vision. We're gonna reload. A new mag, and she's good to go. See what the Ronin does here. Okay, he goes for the device. Fair. That's hit. good. This guy probably finishes him. Oh, maybe Setting not. He's on run. Defense. Going on defense for a bit. looking hit. Okay, and Tybalt. He can't reach that. Man. 
Why are you like this? Oh, it's because I'm blocking it with Zoe. I'm blocking your path. My bad, bro. That's on me. That's on me. So 75 is my best bet. Come on, Tibbs. Yeah, buddy. He shoots him down. I really need Untouchable up before trying anything funky here. I could maybe Overwatch this so if they come further, Hoping for a start to weaken shot. them a bit. His blade sure is well home. Shoot your bud. No nice. luck from there. Oh! And the challengers might want Hello. to start praying now because a here comes a bishop. <laughs> These fanatical snipers may not be heaven sent, but they are hell bent on sending challengers to meet their maker. God sees all, and so does this asshole. Inspires others to kill in the name of the Lord, and he's a sniper, hey? Oh boy. What can you do? He's got low health. He's protected by two ogres. Nano tube armor. Long range rifle performs several attacks in a single overwatch, can boost ally damage. His base damage one shots Tybalt. How long until swap? One turn? Okay, so here's what we do. We go unhittable. Preparing herself for incoming fire. We're right here and we take care of the Ronin. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, that doesn't matter. Good. Moving Okay. And the Ronin is down. Ronin is down. Now we've got this as a melee kill. For her next. gonna move Tybalt over as much as I can. And we're gonna tuck in here. Oh, that's Bad way closer luck. than I would have liked. Oh, and one oh he can hit from there! Toes. Okay, now it doesn't say I need to protect these anymore. It just says defeat defenders. Whoa, that is very interesting. That's cool that he's got this little sniper position. We're gonna bring Tybalt in here and we're going to swap the ogre. He swaps his appearance with a defender. The problem with this is, um, well, it's obvious. I'm either trying to like beeline for getting back there So I go here, the ogre can shoot me. Same with this guy, but he might go on this if they're still targeting that for some reason. This gets me a kill and then one, a one turn or a one move reposition. The worry I have about that is obvious. 
I wonder if this guy's by chance inaccurate at close range. Probably not. It only seems to have effective range on their guns. But then I'm wondering, like, could I do this attack? Just tank the shot? I would have to hope that this guy doesn't get to me, though. That's the... He, that he doesn't hit me, right? He does have an ogre there to shoot. Man, is this risky. This is very risky. See, like, I could go in melee here. I have one AP left, and I could throw a grenade, but then I'm standing in the open, and he's gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot, but we don't know who... I, you know what? I think this is, might be my best play, is to go for the bishop. A savage attack! Let's see. I, I'm, I'm willing to use some... Uh, I'm willing to use some HP if necessary. 27 to 30 damage here, kind of the same story. I might be able to get him into uh, up her weapon. into his regen phase. Oh, the ogre needs a timeout. There we go. Okay. So it's right at half. Excellent. That oh, Bishop went for it too. Not done. You love to see it. Wow, did that ever work out? We knew the only way she died there is if this scum shot her, which probably wasn't going to happen because of the ogre. But I expected the Bishop to shoot her for sure. Get down. Bishop received his last rights. Now we've got a nice little chain here. Back to back kills for the challenger. Oh wait, we're not done. Woo! Incredible! They took out three of them. Yeah, they did. Zoe winds up her Gatling gun. Absolutely brutal! All right, we'll take that, I guess. I'm going to just check here before I commit to see. Okay, I can't reach this guy with a sabotage. He's taking quite a pounding. <laughs> That works. Wait, was that four? I'm losing count. That works. Oh, is he still, uh... Oh, he's still disabled until, like, what? Until he's done here? That shook him up. I didn't realize that it was persistent like that. Getting ready to dish out some major pain. She bumps off another one. Very cool. We absolutely owned. Little scared about those With snipers. One of the generators I feel like more or less intact. The contestants managed to win the challenge while earning some extra oh. cash. Oh. 
Really? Maybe that went away. Maybe the thing went away when they destroyed the generator. For some reason, in my mind, I was like, they can't hit that thing. Didn't even cross. Like, I was like... And that's it for yet another explosive episode of Homicidal All-Stars. How strong are the bonds forged in the fires of the industrial zone? We'll find out in tomorrow night's episode, set in the disaster area, where another new defender is preparing a warm welcome for the contestants. For Homicidal All-Stars, I'm Joe Stern. Good night, Look, everyone. He's American. He's American. Okay, so fame rewards, we've hit this. 5% chance to hit for all challengers. Um, this is good, but that's going to be a ways off. I feel like we might just take this 5% chance buff here. The melee damage obviously would be nice because we use it a lot. But, um, again, that's too far off. So I'm just going to straight up take this, and then we're ready for our last sponsor when we inevitably get there. Okay, so now we can take Tackle. Stun an enemy without spending AP. That's insane. And, um... I'll take movement range. 13 skills here. So now we have a choice between extreme sabotage. Disable the target's weapons and abilities and cause AoE damage. Or disable an enemy robot. So this replaces sabotage. Which is... This one. Cooldowns are the same. All this does is add AoE damage. Whereas this one, make a robot attack its allies. That's pretty cool. So you almost let them uh, spawn a robot and then you hack them. And it's a separate ability. So you could then have decoy, sabotage, um, hack. These probably don't, these don't end the turn. I assume hack doesn't. And then you follow up with this. Whereas this one, yes, you get the AOE, but like that's not super frequent. That that's going to be something we can use. It's 8 to 10 damage, which is nice. But I think I'm going to take hack here. And then... Um, man, I really want this. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to save for extreme sabotage. Make sure we get that next time. And uh, go from there. Warden-wise, we can take rocket barrage now. Dealing damage to everyone in an AoE. For sure. He still has 4 available. Um... Maybe I will take the movement range for him. And then Zoe. I guess we'll take this Intimidate now. And we'll, we'll try that out. Who got the implant? I didn't catch it. Ah, here. Health plus 10. Okay, so now <laughs> she's at 62 health and he's at 90. Pretty good too, like damn. Pretty good. We have three audio logs to check. I wonder how many defenders are still lined up. We've seen so many already. Ah, plenty of death row prisoners in the country to last them, I guess. An endless supply. I hear that Omega bought up a new lot for this season. They call it the Disaster Zone, apparently the site of some big-ass electrochemical disaster. Been off limits until recently, but someone must have pulled some strings. Sounds like a perfect place to get electrocuted. I wonder oh. if I can bribe Nicole to give me some rubber boots. Okay, lots Great. of hazards. Like being shot at isn't enough. Now we're gonna get fried. So, you gonna tell the big woman everything? I wasn't planning to. Well, she might be less gracious than me when she eventually finds out about your ulterior motives. Then let's make sure she doesn't. And if she makes it to the end with us? We'll worry about it then. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, better hope she never wanders by your quarters while you're screaming in your sleep. It is interesting how, like, yes, we're rolling with these guys, but it seems like there can only be one winner. So will we face off against them, and will that be problematic? That would be kind of sick. Gotta admit, I'm starting to wonder if I might have had a better chance of survival on the inside. Probably should have spent more time studying up on this show before committing to it as my salvation. Oh, well. What's done is done. And 
At least I've got one person in this madhouse I can trust. Oh, nice. That means a lot. That's us. Likewise, Tybalt. So, you planning to stick with that Walmart rifle of yours through this whole thing? I didn't even notice the brand. Kinda what I figured. If you switch to our Lucky Punk M69, I can make it worth your while. Oh, really? What? As long as you mention the name at least once per episode. You know, product placement. Uh, but... I mean, sure, they jam a bit more than they probably should, but we're working on that. I think I'll stick with this one. For now, anyway. Your call. Let me know if you change your mind. It'd be cool if that actually happened, where she would give you a gun. Walter, I saw our old ads in the arena today. Why aren't the new ones up yet? The ads showing me using our gear on the show need to be everywhere. This is literally why I'm here, remember? Oh, and tell the graphics guy to remove the other contestants from the shots. Like, you know, I don't need any backup if I'm in lucky punk gear. No, not that exact line. <laughs> Have the copywriters sexy it up. Going for the old soft sell, huh, Zoe? Hey, hacker dude. Think you could hack me? You mean, your exoskeleton? Uh, yeah, I guess so. That would be so messed up. You could make me do anything you want, right? Like, I don't know, dance ballet or something? Ballet? Why? Is that something you'd like to do? It'd be Why? fun! No, of course, no, I mean, do I look like a ballerina to you? <laughs> do I look like someone who always wanted to try ever since she was a little <laughs> girl? But never got the chance? Uh... I, uh... I think I'll head to the gym, get some reps in. I'll see you over there. No one's ever in here doing anything, ever. We just make snarky comments when we look at it. Uh, let me check the little diary room. Sitch. There you are. Go. You know what? I've had it with Ford's tricks and twists and all that bullshit. I know this is an entertainment show, but come on. At least make it fair. You know I'm doing well, so just keep throwing up new roadblocks. What are you gonna do next? Drop fucking anthrax on the arena? Asshole! Bet that confessional <laughs> didn't make it on air. The audience doesn't care about fairness, and neither does Ford. Like I said, I am here for the money. And yeah, it would be great to get it all for myself. But Richter, Fly, and Phantom are good people. We've kept each other safe so far. So, if you're asking me if I'd rather stab them in the back than share the winnings, then the answer is no. That clear enough for you? Looks like we're not the only yeah. ones who've teamed up out there. Maybe we go against a whole team of them. We rarely see the kind of teamwork your group has been displaying on the show. Do you think this approach will pay off? Teamwork means survival. I'm here to win. I'll use any advantage I can to make it to the finale. So, your allies are just means to an end. Oh, relax. Not exactly the way I'd put it. But, I'm not here to make friends either. I'm here to win. Good stuff tonight. Thank you, Scarlet. Okay. They moved our arm. Did they move any of the Quite a ways Seven down. Here? Of course not. Is there a well, force no. field down there? That would make sense. And no one cares. There's never been a contestant who tried to hey, self-eliminate. Right? Uh, yeah, you look got at a me. Point, I Using their euphemisms. It's called suicide, Maria. Nicole from production here. This message is intended for Scarlet, Tybalt, and Zoe. The audience seems to enjoy your team up. So we're going to keep letting you work as a group for now. But to keep things balanced, we're establishing a maximum of allied contenders allowed in certain areas. That's two contestants in non-combat areas and ambushes. Okay, so that's not changing. That's good. Other contestants in your group will remain in the resting area and can be summoned before entering combat. Please note that the warden counts as a contestant <laughs> We got it. We got it. We got it. Ooh. No flashback. Interesting. Okay. Disaster area. Here we come. Disaster area. Sounds like another fun place to hang out.
Welcome back to Homicidal All-Stars. I'm Joe Stern, and tonight it's the penultimate challenge area for season 78. As the numbers of the surviving challengers dwindle, we'll follow their perilous path through the disaster zone. The site of an electrochemical catastrophe a few years back, this area remains as unsafe as it was on the day the accident happened. How many of our remaining challengers, if any, will survive its many dangers? Hopefully all of them. I don't even care if anyone makes it to the finale, huh? Hey, if it happened every season, wouldn't be special. That's no cool. Way. That's a cool follow. Okay, guys, uh, we're here, and it's going to be nasty. We'll see you next time.